poverty affects health in a very big way because of, fortunately, of where the lack of supermarkets are, oftentimes in economically depressed neighborhoods. And as a result, it sometimes a lot sounds a lot easier and cheaper to go down to a local fast food place than to say, you know, I can go ahead and go down to my local market and maybe get beans that are also 89 cents and cook some beans at home instead and that are, if anything, much more nutritious and actually the same price. So poverty affects the way we make choices, especially when you're talking about working on a tight income and oftentimes when you have multiple jobs and you're a single parent with someone with your kids living at home. And that's why it's important to have those conversations with your kids and make it a, a, a family friend, friendly effort and have, make sure that we're all eating healthier. I, I, one, I think everybody, every single community needs the opportunity to have access to healthy foods and vegetables, but also to have the conversations with their parents. I know that when I was growing up, I was the one that my mom made sure that I ate my vegetables, but at the same time, I made sure that she wasn't eating her sugar. <laughs> my mom, I, so it's one of the biggest impacts and problems within the Latino community is diabetes. And it's how do we make sure that our parents are healthy as well? And so the more that we can talk about healthy living and cutting down on grease, but also making sure that we're cutting down on sweets ensures that we are that we help avoid that epidemic. Well, now that I'm expecting, I've actually looked at this very closely and realized that I've changed a lot of my eating habits, also when I eat and how much I have time to exercise. So I walk everywhere and I try to use the steps instead of the escalator or the elevator every single chance I get. But then I also change the way I, I've eaten since I've been expecting. So I eat much more vegetables, a lot of tofu, and I've started eating less red meat. And I don't know if it's the baby or me, but that's what I'm craving. And I do try to treat myself to dessert every once in a while.